Hello everybody, hello, no aloha here, thank you for joining me. Uh, we are back and I am going to make another attempt at playing Curse of the Rougarou with Daisy Walker. I did put up a video um, pretty much with this same intro card and everything where we ran Daisy Walker through. However, uh, you may have noticed that I essentially put the scenario into super mega ultra easy mode um, inadvertently because I'm an idiot. Uh, it was this card here. Where are you? I was playing on the prowl. Just so 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 wrong. Well not entirely so 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 wrong, but wrong enough that it destroyed the integrity of the scenario's intended difficulty. So on the prowl has the Rougarou moving around the board dropping clues like little poops as it goes, um, which in that sense is quite useful. You can use it to place the Rougarou where you want it, assuming it's not already where you want it, um, and it populates the board with clues. That's great. However, in the video that I have got up at the moment, I neglected entirely throughout the entire playthrough to apply Surge. Surge is incredibly important where on the prowl is concerned. That's where the irritation, the, the danger, the, the problem of it surfaces. Every Mythos phase you should be getting at least one encounter card that does you ill. And I was playing it whereby on the prowl was just a rather friendly encounter card that popped out and didn't really do much to put me in any danger. Without surging these on the prowls, I think there were about four throughout the entire run through. Um, so that's kind of, you could argue that that is four Mythos phases where I kind of got a freebie. Um, no good, and I'm probably going to just, I think I'll just delete that run through, like entirely. Not keep it as a as an, a curiosity, just get rid of it from the channel. Because it doesn't serve any purpose when you're playing the scenario like that. Um, it doesn't demonstrate the, the game in any way. So I, I think I will. I think I'll just get rid of it and replace it with this one. I wanted to make a Daisy video because we had uh, our Ro Roland and Wendy run through the main campaign. We did Agnes and Skids as a two-handed uh, game through Rougarou and I want to give Daisy a chance to just show that she can shine um, in a solo environment. Whether we achieve that, I don't know. Uh, we're going to use exactly the same deck. I won't spend too much time going through it. Um, you can see it here. I've gone quite heavy on the skill cards, um, and a lot of them are for willpower, because I want to make sure that I am able to bump my willpower for when we have cards like Shriveling out. Um, and obviously there are plenty of willpower tests. Uh, we have a few events. Emergency cash is just for economy. Mind of a Matter is going to be, um, typically I'm thinking for evasion, and also maybe to apply a single ping of damage on the werewolf using combat if we get there. Water protection is just to protect us from any uh, encounter cards that we do not want to deal with. And blinding light is an evasion also. Again, maybe a way to put just an extra ping of damage on the Rougarou. So we're going to have to hit the Rougarou three times. Uh, the most we can do per attack with Daisy is two points of damage and we need to apply five points. So that's going to be, I assume, Two hits for two damage using a shriveling, and then a single ping that we can apply, maybe with Mind Over Matter, maybe with a Blinding Light. Uh, worth noting, I have two the two versions of Blinding Light in here. Uh, we have the upgraded cost, uh, uh, the upgraded version, and uh, the regular version. I have got nine points worth of experience points in here, uh, so we aren't applying an extra basic weakness. Two scryings for control, two holy rosaries to get our willpower up and to give us a bit of a sanity soak. Um, with the accessory slot here, there are two there, and we have a single disc of Itzamna. We may get that out early, and that will be a way to um, have Daisy just handle a, an irritating monster that we don't otherwise want to handle. Two Arcane Studies, again, mostly for the uh, ability to bump our willpower, just to ensure that our shrivelings do not go to waste. Bulletproof Vest is really important, I think, um, as a, a health soak, and I would really love to see this early on and get it out just to give Daisy that little bit of a cushion so that when she inevitably draws into the encounter cards that deal damage uh, we can just either take them on the chin or that they won't uh, scupper us. For books I have gone quite low in terms of numbers. We have one encyclopedia and one old book of law uh, but then we have two research librarians so between having these single copies and both of these research, research librarians 
I'm hoping that we can get them out nice and early and establish our two books, double-handed, dual-wielding books. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, and we'll see how this goes. There's our deck of 30 cards. Throw it in our little deck space. And we're going to draw a random basic weakness. Shuffle that in. And we're going to take our two unique cards. Shuffle those in. To remove the weaknesses from the board. Uh, let's draw our hand uh, now. And then we can establish what our starting encounter, uh, our, our starting location is. Which one is not going to be in the game. Let's draw five cards. We have got ooh, both copies of Arcane Studies. We will keep one, get rid of the other. Uh, we do not want the Necronomicon. We will keep scrying for early control. Do we throw out the cash now? Maybe we should keep the cash so that we are resourced to get these early assets out and into play. Sure, we'll keep emergency cash. Draw two more cards. Encyclopedia and a disc. Okay. What I am uh, aware of right now is in this starting hand, we don't have means to deal with early enemies. Uh, but I think in the first encounter set here, what are the two enemies in the Bayou encounter set? I think it's the crocodile and the um, the, the leech. Um, let's drop these down. These are the ending quantities from the previous run through. Um, so I would like to draw into Shriveling to allow us to defeat enemies, or Blinding Light, or Mind Over Matter to give us that evasion option. Um, as it stands, we don't really have much, but maybe we can use Scrying to avoid the enemies that we don't want to see. Um, okay, make sure this is all shuffled, and we will determine which of these piles of cards leaves play. We are not going to use the Riverside, which is a shame because I think the Riverside, yes it is, Riverside is the uh, set of cards that has the very nice location that allows you to equip assets uh, for one cheaper than you would otherwise have to do. So sad to see that go. And we're going to start at here. One, I was going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to start here and then these will come into play once we advance the act. Let's put these with our little cards over here. Once we advance the act, we'll bring all of these into play. <laughs> right then, go away, die. So, we want the bayou and then the two connecting spots. Let's place Daisy over here and flip this. I don't think we'll do the alternate thing again. So I'm going to start at the swamp. There's no clues here. One of these has a single clue. We need that single clue to advance the first act. And our agenda is going to be counting up to five. Let's give the encounter deck a big old shuffle. And I think we're ready to start, are we? Yeah, looks like it. Okay, let's get ourselves set up. Um, we want to do an early scrying just to see what we have to affect. Um, there's lots of effects whereby we are picking up the discard and putting them back into the encounter deck and giving them a shuffle. I would like to avoid, air quotes, wasting a scrying um, by scrying the deck and then having us have to shuffle it anyway. Um, it's one of those strange kind of side effects, strange weaknesses of scrying that you can use it but then the agenda and act can actually force you to shuffle the encounter deck. We'd like to avoid that if we can. As a first action then, we'll get scrying out. Uh, as a second action, we will use Scrying. Let's put our charges on there. Second action, we're going to Scry the Encounter deck. Uh, before we look at these, let's just remind ourselves what's in our hand. We have Arcane Studies, uh, a disc. So we could even, um, if we have an enemy, something to be said perhaps for the third action, putting Disc of Examiner out knowing that full well that we can actually uh, deal with it immediately. Hmm, let's take a look. Ew, two Swamp Leeches. Um, I don't know if I want to spend an entire disc on a Swamp Leech. 
However, now we know that this is going to spawn on a non-bayou. Hmm. None of these are great, obviously, because they're all kind of damage that is going to be applied to us. All right then, I think what we do then is we're going to put the leeches at the bottom and take the willpower test for damage first. Uh, sure. And with that in mind, we will pay two and get arcane studies out. Allowing us to bump up our willpower. Um, right. We get our actions back, and we can draw a card. <laughs> Not what we wanted. Although we can commit that, I guess, um, as an extra willpower pip when we take our willpower test. That's not too bad, actually. Right then, let's go into the next turn. Tick up our mythos phase, and draw that test. We have Cursed Swamp. Uh, we're going to test Willpower 3. We have Natural Willpower 3. Let's commit Arcane Studies to this. Where do we want to be at? I think minus 2 is about 50% chance, given the current Chaos Bag. Uh, so we're currently at 1 over. I think we spend at least 1 of these to put us at minus 2, and I think it might be worth going to minus 3. We just don't want to take damage at all. Let's pay 2. Um, that bumps our willpower up to 5 from those two on the Arcane Studies, up to 6 from committing this copy of Arcane Studies. So we're testing 6 versus difficulty 3. And we have minus 3, which means we pass the test. No damage done um, yet. <laughs> we go into our turn, and at this point this point, let's move first action. See which one we get. Mm, so we have our clue. I don't know whether getting Encyclopedia out right now benefits us. I can't think of a way that it would benefit. However, I also can't think of a way that we can avoid these two leeches. Um, I don't know if we just deal with them in terms of taking their opportunity attacks, uh, taking Daisy from up to two damage already. I am a little bit uh, unkeen to throw a full disc at such a little piddly slug of an enemy. But with a health value of 5, a single ping of damage could be the, the difference, the hard difference between a win or a loss. Cannot deny that. Um, hmm. No, I think at this point we will try to grab the clue. Second action then, we're going to test versus Shroud 2. We have Intellect of 5. See if we can grab this clue. That is minus two. We're successful. We get our clue. And move back here, I think, as a third action. Yeah, that seems fine, actually. I think we're going to take at least one of those pings of swamp damage, uh, swamp leech damage, but maybe we can just get rid of the second uh, swamp leech purely by advancing the act. We get our actions back, and we're going to draw a card. There's a shriveling. Very nice. And we gain another resource. Yeah. Right then. We tick this up again, and we draw our leech. It's going to engage with us, because it's going to spawn on this bayou location. We can't evade it, but we could just... Mm. 
there's the, the the point that I was missing because when we advance the act we are going to connect this bayou with two other bayous we can't just discard it by moving away we would have to move away twice and it would only get discarded from the, the next one that is a little annoying what is this card? Um, this is the one where you draw a card and take one horror Meaning this one is, this is the pay two resources and heal, I think. It's heal horror. Obviously we aren't in a horror problem currently. You are very irritating, little slug. So, do we advance the act right now? Hmm. I think we do. Yeah, I think we do. We're going to try and get an early ping of damage on the Rougarou. I think that makes most sense. Yes, so we will spend our clue at the value location and advance the act. We're going to bring all these cards down. We are going to place the Curse of the Ru Weakness into our threat area. We are going to place Lady Esprit on this bayou location. I'm going to place our two other bayous over here. We're going to shuffle the Curse of the Rougarou and counter set into the main counter set and put these in also. And we're going to put the Rougarou at one of the non bayou locations with the fewest clues, I believe. Put the set aside Rougarou enemy into play at any non bayou location. Yes. So. We're going to place it, I think, here. It doesn't actually matter too much. Um, there's a bonus, there's a benefit to being here, but there's also a detriment also, whereas this one is a bit of a safer one. We could draw into an on the prowl and we'd have to move it, so planning this one out isn't so useful because we don't know if on the prowl is going to pop here. Uh, it's very po possible that it will do. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, let's get these fixed. We have our other bayou there. These. So just to reiterate how these are all connected, each of these little biomes is connected in a loop with themselves. So here we have a little circle, here's a little circle, here's a little circle, and then these three bayous are all connected in a circle also. Um, so these are quite far away, but just to make sure everyone's uh, on board, they, these are connected from here to here. Okay. As a first action, then, we are going to move to the Rougarou's location. That will incur an opportunity attack from the Swamp Leech, but it is now at a non bayou location because it follows us, we can discard it. As a second action, we are going to play Resource Cache and gain three resources. And as a third action, we are going to equip Shriveling. I think I'm actually hoping to draw into an On the Prowl, because I just realized that we don't have a clue, so we can't engage the Rougarou. Oh dear. Um, 
That's no big deal, though. As our four resources for shriveling, and at this point we we need to hope for a way to grab a clue as quickly as possible, so we can start putting our little nicks of damage onto the Rougarou. Those are our four, um, our three actions. Uh, before we go into the refreshing our actions, we should take one horror for doing no damage this turn. I'll flip these over, draw into another card. Uh, that could be very nice. And we gain a resource. We're going to take up Doom and see what the encounter deck has in store for us now. Oh dear. So, um, should I Ward of Protection this? I don't think so, actually. I think this is okay. I'm actually fairly okay with that one popping out. So the Rougarou is not so much of a threat, but then obviously we could draw into the, the card where it does damage to um, adjacent locations and its own location. So that wouldn't be very nice if we were to draw into that. But still, um, no clues though. Uh, how do I play this then? Do I go looking for the clues or do I wait for it to prowl? I think at this point we're in a position where we can we can wait for it to prowl, I believe. I'm going to pay three resources as a first action and equip our disc so that I can basically ignore the next enemy that pops up. Then I think we click for a resource and then don't necessarily want to how is there anything to be said for drawing the extra card and taking the horror? No, not with Curse of the Rougarou out. I want to avoid that horror. We have several of our cards out that we need. It's just clues that we need right now. So I don't think drawing into a card at the cost of a horror is that useful. Although at this location, which location? Oh, I didn't flip this over. Whoops, Daisy. We can heal horror at this point. Maybe we do. No, let's stay here. I want to stay here because when it does move, I then don't have to... I can then grab the clue immediately before moving. Um, but let's say that it, it prowls. That would be one action picking up a clue. Second action would be moving. Third action would be the engagement, which doesn't allow us to spend a fourth action, obviously, um, actually putting damage on. I think we... I think we just click for another resource. I think resources are of prime importance right now. I'm going to click again and get a second resource. Again, no actual benefit in putting Encyclopedia out right now. Um, there's nothing in the turns where I'm making investigation checks at this point, but we will have three resources to play with going into the next turn, which would allow us to mess around with these. I'm going to take another pip of horror. We're going to um, get our actions back. Draw a card. There's another ward of protection. Super duper. Um, and gain another resource. We can go here. Uh, pip up Doom once more. And if we don't like this, um, we're actually equipped to deal with pretty much anything. If it's an enemy, we have our disc out. If it's um, one of the nastier encounter cards, that has, say, the Rougarou attacking us, we can uh, ward of protection it. Ah, on the prowl, fantastic. So, this is a surge card. <laughs> After I have done this, it is going to, um, we are going to draw another encounter card, but we're definitely going to have the surge uh, process. Oops. We're gonna have it move to this non-bio location. 
Here we go, and it's going to drop a clue at the overgrown cans. That's slightly annoying because it is going to be shroud value 4, which isn't going to be the easiest clue to grab, sadly. But if anyone can do it, Daisy can. So it moves, it prowls over to this non bio location and leaves the clue here as it moves across. We then need to surge. What do we get? Ripples on the surface. We are going to test willpower and take horror. Um. Hmm. There's a curious one. There were much nastier ones in here. And I don't want to fail so bad that I take three horror. That would be awful. But we do have options to handle that if we get unlucky. I don't think I'm going to ward of protection this. I think I'm just going to take the test. I mean, given the numbers in here, chances are we would take a full three. We'll take the horror anyway. Yeah, let's just um, hope that we can get a lucky, lucky pull. I'm just going to test three versus three. I'm not going to spend arcane initiate, um, arcane study resources bumping this using the talent. Let's see what we get. Ah, oh, it's a zero. You lucky devil. Well done, Daisy. So we get the zero. We are able to avoid taking the horror. Fantastic. Okay, what do we need to do now? We need to grab this clue and then go and say hello to the Ruguru. With that in mind, I think I'm just going to mash my intellect of five. I mean, this is a point where perhaps this is where we get an encyclopedia out. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, first action. We are going to play Encyclopedia. Then as a free action, we are going to activate Encyclopedia and give ourselves plus two intellect. And as a second real action, we shall shroud four versus intellect of seven. Seven versus four. That is a pass, so we get our clue. And then, as a third action, at this point, do we move? Hmm. Hmm. Do we move? Assuming we stay here next turn. That would be engage fight. However, if we move here and then we get another on the prowl, we then move it here, which would allow us to move, engage, fight. It doesn't actually matter. We don't have to worry about on the prowl because there are no clues on here. So this is now a valid non-Bayou location again. We could just move the Rougarou to us. So the question is, do I want to draw a card for one horror? I think the answer is no. What do I do for this one? Do I just gain another resource? I think perhaps I do. Yeah, I'm just going to gain another resource. Uh, we take one horror for doing no damage this turn. And we go into our next... Oh, of course it's going to prowl because um, we're going to advance this. We're going to advance the agenda. And I believe all that does is it's just a, a prowl situation. Shuffle these back in. If the Ruguru is in play, find a non-bio location with the fewest clues on it and move it there. What we don't want to do now is draw into a prowl here, because that would actually be very, very annoying. We're going to prowl it over to our location, and it's going to leave a clue on the ritual grounds. I mean, I suppose I shouldn't be using the, the verb prowl, because it's not technically prowling. It is just moving, using the prowl kind of uh, rule set. Our new agenda is six. Um, we can bring this down to zero, and then we have to draw a new encounter card. Again, we have options for our ward of protection here. 
Did I? I missed my uh, upkeep phase, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, before we deal with this then. I completely forgot to do that. We're going to draw a card. And gain a resource. So this was the upkeep phase that I forgot to do there. Right then. So we are drawing our card. It is dragged under. Hmm. So this is either going to be two damage, most likely, or one horror and minus one resource. I think we take the horror, uh, the damage. Or we, we assume that we will take the damage. I think I'm going to take Dragged Under. I'm not going to Ward of Protection this. Uh, let's take our test to see if it enters our threat area. Agility 2 versus Difficulty 3. <sighs> so close. Uh, we do fail. So it's now in our threat area, and when we leave this location, we're probably just going to take the two damage. Um, yeah, it's a shame we don't have Mind Over Matter. That would be a very useful card to have right now, because uh, it would allow us to both test this and um, deal some deal a ping of damage to the Rougarou. However, not to be. Uh, we can unexhaust you. And we go into our action phase. So, we want to... Is there anything we want to do before we engage the Rougarou? Yes, there is. We are going to shrivel it, aren't we? So, let's exhaust Encyclopedia using our special ability and give ourselves plus two willpower. So we're now at willpower five for the rest of this turn. We will then, as a first action, engage... The Rougarou, and spend a clue, uh, which two is these two, isn't it? It is now engaged with us, and we can fight it using a shrivel. We shall equip, and uh, not equip, we will commit Fearless to this, so let's throw some numbers at the situation. We have modified willpower of 5, 6, and it's difficulty 4 because of this buff. So it's 6 versus 4 right now. Let's see if we can improve that a little bit. I think we will arcane studies. How many do I throw? One or two? I think I'm happy at this point to throw two resources at this test. Three, four, five, six, and then seven, eight from the two resources that we spent. Eight versus difficulty four. Oh, that is monstrous. Really is nasty. So we did fail that, and it is a retaliate effect that pops up. Oh, that's really gruesome. Uh, let's get rid of our scrying charge. Uh, so, because it retaliates and it does extra damage, we are now probably going to die, because we take three horror and three um, uh, damage. That is really nasty. <laughs> um, not pleased with that one bit. Let's try again. Spend another shriveling. And at this point, um, we weren't successful with our Fearless, sadly. But at this point, without Fearless, um, ew, I'm tempted almost to use one of the wild icons on Ward of Protection for this. We have Willpower of 5. Uh, willpower of... Yes, Willpower of 5. Golly. Willpower of 6. Willpower of 7. I am going to spend one of these. So we're up to 7 versus difficulty 4. That is a minus 1. So we are successful this time. And we can put 2 damage onto the Rougarou. But let's do this in the right order. What do we need to do first? Let's clean up. We can get rid of Insatiable Bloodlust. It took damage. We'll put the 2... 
damage tokens on the Rougarou. And it will then move the location that is furthest from all investigators. So it's going to be this, 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 or this. Uh, which of these do I want to head to? I think the wilderness is better. Let's move the Rougarou to this location. Uh, which means it is going to drop a clue here. It is going to drop a clue here. It is going to drop a clue here. Okay, we need to fix ourselves, no doubt. Those are our three actions. We do not take the Curse of the Rougarou ping this turn, because we did apply damage successfully. Mm, sure, not much else in the way of options for us. Let's go into upkeep. We're going to draw a card. We have Holy Rosary. And we gain a resource. Oh, we could test uh, Dragged Under also at the end of our turn. Uh, let's test Agility and see what happens. There's a minus two. Uh, the Rougarou would not have been at our location at the time that that was tested because uh, it had already moved as soon as we applied these two little bits of damage. We still have Dragged Under, which is annoying because we can't leave here <laughs> until we get rid of it. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Uh, so we are kind of stuck right now, thanks to the Dragged Under. Um, we could move to Lady Esprit and heal up for two damage, but by the time we got there we would be dead. That retaliate, that failed test on minus five token was awful. Um, hmm, not sure what, even what we could, what we have as options to handle this low health situation that we're in. So as uh, during the upkeep, we got our holy rosary and our resource. Let's go into a new mythos phase and draw spectral mist attached to a bayou location. Each skill test performed there gets plus one difficulty. Uh, let's throw this. Does it matter? I guess we'll... There's a clue here. Um, shroud 2. So let's put this over here. And maybe we'll have to deal with it later. I forget what the shroud values are on these two. Um, but seeing as this already has a clue and this already has a clue, it probably makes sense to put Spectral Mist over on this one. Right then, um, so we have to, at the moment, I think we just draw cards or grab resources. What's in here that could help us? Um, the Probably the bulletproof vest is what we're hoping to draw into. But as it stands right now, we cannot leave this location. We could do that, I guess, but we don't have the resources to do so. Ooh, what to do, what to do. Uh, I am going to as a free action. Let's take this back. No, let's do this at the end, before the end of our turn. There's no, no reason to rush into it. We're going to draw one card and see what we get. Nice. Okay. We will then play Emergency Cash. We will then spend two resources and heal two horror. And as a fourth action that is free, I will give myself plus two agility. We will then make our test to see if we can get rid of this at four versus difficulty three. Mm. Oh god. Uh, reveal another token. Okay. Oh, so this isn't actually, that's not actually bad at all. So we just get another chance because we're not going to move anyway because we have already used up all of our actions. 
Try for a lucky one. We want minus one or better. Minus four. That's a big fail. Big, big fail. Um, this is no good. Uh, we take our Curse of the Rougarou ping. Uh, we cannot use this effect again, sadly. It is once per game. We're going to draw a card and hope that we get our Bulletproof Fest. <laughs> we do not. We'll probably throw that at um, our... We have to get rid of this as quickly as possible. And we can go into the next turn. Pip this up, draw another card. That is a bog gator. We'll just let that engage us. Okay, that is a... When a non-elite enemy spawns at your location, so we'll trigger that, discard this, and get rid of the bog gator. Or do we just fight the bog gator? Might be something to be said for just fighting it. No, we'll get rid of it. No, we're gonna. Oh, I don't know. There, was, there are nastier enemies in here. We could spend one of these shrivels. I think. I think we do. Considering we're probably going to just have to stick around here anyway and not do anything of note. Yeah, we're not going to use the disc on this. We are actually going to try and just shrivel it away. Yeah, sure. Okay. At this point, then... Should I be throwing this, or do I just evade it? Might be better. Yeah, right now, I am going to... Oh, but for me to apply this, I would then have to take an opportunity attack. Because we can't actually use this ability. So, yeah, sure. We're going to spend uh, the disc and get rid of this bog gator. Because it is an irritation. So that's how we're going to handle uh, the bog gator. Ooh, golly. What are we going to do? How are we going to get out of this little pickle that we've got ourselves into? I think as a first action, we shall get Holy Rosary out. Now that we have our uh, neck slot available again. As a second action, I think we draw a card. Ah, gosh. And as a third action, I think we draw the card. Oh dear. Uh, so. We have to equip this and put three horror on it. We certainly won't be, I don't think we're going to end up taking any of these horrors to get rid of it. I think we just treat that as minus one hand slot and auto success is now auto fail. But at least it's out. Um, we did not do any damage, so we're going to take a horror. And we are going to... Oh, before the end of the turn, I'm going to bump my agility up using Wendy's special ability. And we're going to throw one of these at this test. So we have agility 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 versus difficulty 3. That is a minus 2. We can finally get rid of this dragged under. Okay. Throw this away. Um, let's the horror pip that we took here. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I was about to pip this one down and put it on the Holy Rosary. We'll just put it on the Holy Rosary next. So we go into upkeep. Uh, we can draw another card as a perception, and we gain a resource. Let's take up Doom and draw another card. 
Oh, I... Bog Gator. Bog Gator. Uh, so, it's going to spawn on us, and we go into our next turn. We have to deal with it, and I think we do just try and shrivel. We're in a better position to do that than... Um, than trying to evade it out. Uh, we can't apply Encyclopedia without taking the Opportunity attack. So, we will hope for the best, spend a Shrivel token, and uh, fight using Willpower of 4, because we have Holy Rosary out. Uh, we will also, at this point, 4 versus 2. With this Chaos Bag, I do not like the chances of that, and I don't want to... I want to save this last Shriveling for the... Rougarou, so I am going to throw this Unexpected Courage at this test. Taking our willpower up to 4, 5, 6 versus difficulty 2. 6 versus 2. That is a minus 2. So we are successful, and we deal 2 damage to the Bog Gator. Uh, we do not have to take our Rougarou Pip this turn as we manage to deal damage. So, as a second action, let's get out of here <laughs> and head and say hello to uh, Lady Esprit. And then as a third action, we are going to exhaust Lady Esprit, put a horror on her, and get two health back. We're going to upkeep. As a research librarian, not too useful now. It's pretty much um, damage and horror soak because we have the encyclopedia out. We don't have a hand slot to put our old book of law out. Um, don't know. Don't know. At this point, I would like to save my resources for bumping arcane studies, seeing as we spent both of our unexpected courages already. There's a couple of guts in here also. Uh, let's draw another resource and go into the next turn. We're going to bump Doom up and draw Beast of the Bayou. Ruguru makes an immediate attack against each investigator. So, do I protection this, or do I take the Doom Tick? I think I take the Doom Tick. I'm just going to let this fire, and um, if no attacks were made by this effect, place one Doom on the current agenda. I think that's better. We will just take the Doom Tick and we'll advance this agenda next turn. Okay, we need to get a move on then. We need a clue. Should I grab this clue? I think so. Uh, we can do this. I mean, it might be worth healing up one more time, even. Although, there was something to be said for... Mm, I don't think we have time to spend an action healing up again. First action, we're going to bump our intellect by two, and we're going to try to grab this clue. We have intellect seven versus shroud value of two. There's a pass. So that was our first action, we gain this clue. And we will then move. <gasps> that is awful. That is not what we want. Hmm, because that is basically losing plus two to our combat check. That is not very nice at all. With that in mind, then,
I think we're going to lose two resources regardless. Yeah, I think we are. My, my, I was thinking that maybe I should equip the research librarian. Maybe that is worthwhile just for the extra skill icons that I can commit anyway. We would draw into Old Book of Law. Um, we wouldn't be able to play it. We wouldn't be at this location. Yeah, okay. Let's do that then. We will, as a third action, equip our research librarian and grab our final tome asset and just put that in our hand. And that just gives us a willpower icon. We haven't done any damage, so we do go up. We're going to get our resources back. We're going to bring back our encyclopedia. We're going to draw a card. It's another scrying, and we're going to gain another resource. That we're probably going to lose. Um, but maybe we can spend one of them on a ward of protection. Right, we are going to advance the agenda. We're going to shuffle all copies of On the Prowl from the discard pile into the deck, which is... No, we have not had any On the Prowls, okay. The Ruguru is then going to move to a non-Bayou location with the fewest clues on it. I think that can just go to its adjacent non-Bayou. Move the Ruguru here, and it leaves a clue at this spot. Um, that was just advancing the agenda, so at this point we do need to still draw an encounter card. It isn't on the prowl. That is awful. That is not what we want, because now it has to move all the way over here. And that is the horribleness of on the prowl. So, with that in mind, we are going to cancel it. Um, yeah. We're going to... Oh, God. We're going to put one horror on our Holy Rosary as a cost to play this. We're going to pay one resource. And we are going to cancel this surge effect. Oh, you do not go over there. Yeah, that is a... Oops, so daisy. Non-weakness treachery card. So yeah, it is applicable. <clears throat> okay. We can now... Hmm. I think we just take the, the resource hit here. It's the first action. We're going to move. Let's see what we have here. Actually, no. let's get rid of this resource first. We're at Trapper's Cabin. We are not going to try and get the bear trap, I think. It's too slow at this point in the game. We are going to send a clue and engage the Rougarou over to us. And then we are going to pray to all the unholy gods and spend our last shriveling. Uh, oh, before we engaged. Just assume that I did this before we actually engaged so I don't take the opportunity attack. We have plus two to our willpower right now. I will throw this at this test also. So, what do we have in total? We have three, four, five, six, and seven versus difficulty three. The so minus four or better. Oh, you! And that's pretty much the end of the game, I think. I think we lose. Uh, we cannot. Um, oh, that's so, so mean. I dislike you, minus five token. You're a horrible, horrible friend. Um, we take a retaliate attack. So, yes, we do die because we take the retaliate. And it's two. But that takes us up to our nine horror. And yeah, we're defeated. Oh, Daisy. Um, those two minus five that came, those two minus fives that came out were very unpleasant. Uh, we might have been in with a fighting chance. If we'd successfully done that one, where would we have been at? We'd have been here. This would have four tokens on it, and it would have had to move uh, to one of these four locations. Which points I would have probably placed it here. Maybe to grab another heal. This, maybe. Uh, and then we would have 
been hoping to draw into Mind Over Matter or Blinding Light just to apply the final bit of damage on there. Or even just click, click, click for resources that wouldn't happen because we have to pass back through Forgotten Marsh. Yeah, just a bad spot to be in. I think if we'd passed that final shriveling there, if we'd drawn minus four instead of minus five, we might have still been in with a fighting chance. Possibly not. Curse of the Ruguru may have killed us beforehand. Although we did have um, a ping of damage here. I think maybe we could have survived that anyway. For example, we take two horror here. We avoid taking the two horror by taking that away um, and taking this away. And we could uh, avoid one of the damage also. However, um, we would have taken extra horror here at the end of the turn. Uh, yeah, there's no way we would have been able to survive the, the two turns without having the extra damage from shriveling. We needed to do the two damage there. Um, that's unfortunate, but I think Daisy came surprisingly close there. Uh, that was a fun game. Thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, we'll leave it there. And um, yeah, when I come back, maybe it will be for the Carnival uh, expansion if I'm able to get my grubby fingers on, uh, on a copy of it. Okay, uh, take care, everybody. Enjoy your holidays, and I will see you when I see you. Look after everybody. Bye-bye.